What's going on YouTubers? Thanks for tuning in. I have a special video for you guys today because today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the magical elixir known as Coquito. Now, if you don't know what Coquito is, it's basically like eggnog but with coconut instead. So it's sweet, has alcohol in it, cinnamon, vanilla. Um, I make the original flavor. I'm a bit of a purist. So this is how I make it. There's a ton of different recipes. Everybody has their own way of making it. But this is my way. I hope you guys try it and I hope you guys like it. So stay tuned. Okay, so for the ingredients, we have one 15 ounce can of cream of coconut. Uh, this is the Goya brand. They make another brand I've, I've seen. It's called Coco Lopez. But make sure you buy cream of coconut, whatever brand it is. Don't buy coconut milk or leche de coco. That's totally different. It's not going to give us the right consistency we're looking for. Uh, so just yeah, make sure it's cream of coconut. So one 15 ounce can of that. We got two 12 ounce cans of evaporated milk right here. One 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Vanilla extract and ground cinnamon. And this bad boy right here. <laughs> I'm just playing. This is uh, just Bacardi. You know, other people have their own twist. They put different types of liquors. But as I said in the intro, this is the original flavor. So I use Bacardi. You can use any type of liquor that you want, really. But this is the way I do it. So, all right. So I'm going to start with the evaporated milk. Just going to open these up, dump them in. If I can figure out how to do this. Now these, this proportion, these ingredients, these sizes I, I've mentioned, they're going to yield about two 750 milliliter bottles of, of liquor. What I do is I, I save them all. You know, as they accumulate throughout the year. And I save them for this purpose, solely for this purpose, so that I can make it and, and you know, give it to people. It saves me the extra money of having to buy separate bottles. Nothing fancy over here. So we got those in there. I'm gonna add the cream of coconut next. If you've never used this before, uh, when you open it, it could be solidified on top. You see all that solids moves to the top and then. You have the actual cream of coconut there, but don't be alarmed if you see it like that. It's not bad or anything. Just make sure you get it all in there. Sweet condensed milk. This stuff is super thick. You want to be careful. It sticks everywhere. As I said, everybody has their own way of making this. I know some people use eggs. I don't use eggs. It's the thought of drinking raw eggs doesn't really turn, doesn't really do it for me. I've tried them. I don't, I don't discriminate against them, but my preference is without eggs. This is a super simple recipe, by the way. People get really fancy. They'll boil sticks of cinnamon, and I'm probably comes out amazing. But this is quick. Tastes good, I haven't gotten any complaints. All right, once we got all that in there, before we start adding other things, I just usually blend all this up. Make sure you blend it for a while so that everything comes, uh, it gets a nice consistency. So here goes. Right, now that we got that blended, we're going to add the remaining ingredients, which is vanilla extract and the ground cinnamon and the good stuff. As far as measurements are concerned, I can't really tell you the exact measurements. I always just add a spoonful of each of the ground cinnamon and the vanilla extract. Be careful with the ground cinnamon, because a little will go a long way. It's real easy 
to put too much. And then when you go to, to, to drink it, all you get is a mouthful of cinnamon flavor. Some people like it like that. I like to try to keep it under control. But that's good right there. Vanilla extract, same, just a spoonful. Now time for the good stuff. I use just a shot glass. I always add just between five and six shot glasses of these, depending on you know how strong you want it to be. Or, you know, gotta be careful with this too, because if you add too much, the liquor flavor will, will overpower everything else, which is fine if that's what you want, but. What is this, three, four, five. We'll go five and a half. And then we're gonna blend this again. Okay, now that we got all the ingredients mixed together, we're gonna transfer it to a bottle. I recommend getting a funnel, it makes things so much easier. I used to take plastic cups and cut the bottom out of it, kind of make a cone and, and, and use that as a funnel, but I, I lost a lot of coquito along the way, so I decided to invest in one of these. And it, uh, it really does the job. So we'll go ahead and add this in. I've rinsed these bottles out. They're all clean inside. That's one. See how accurate this is. This should be a little bit more than, than, than two of these bottles. It'll get a little frothy on top, don't worry about that. And there you go. So this is the excess. If you want, you can pour that into your own glass. So there you go, got these bottled up, store them in the fridge, keep them nice and cold. When you're ready to drink them, just shake them up real good because all the, all the cinnamon will settle at the bottom. Enjoy this in moderation too because uh, it's happened to me before. I don't care, I'll admit it. You drink too much and either one of two things will happen. If you are sensitive to sugar, this will really jack you up because it's a sugar bomb. Uh, or it'll have you on the toilet. So, yeah, be very careful. Drink in moderation. So, there you go. Two bottles of Coquito ready to go. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is my recipe. Try it. Uh, enjoy it with your family and friends. And have a happy holiday. Peace.